guys, it's me, Alexandrea, and as you can tell from the title, today we're going to be talking about how to heal from a broken heart. We've all experienced it, that moment where our friend just decided to just stop being our friend or something happened in our life that disappointed us, or maybe even that guy just broke up with us and we don't know why. Recovering from a broken heart can seem impossible, but today I'm gonna help you on how to heal from your broken heart. The first thing that I gotta say is just accept the fact that you're feeling sad. Sometimes we just try to just get over things too quickly. One of the first steps to healing in anything Thing is admitting that there is a problem. So just by admitting it to yourself that you're feeling disappointed or hurt can really help you to begin the process of healing. Now next, I wanna encourage you to trust in God's timing. Don't lean on your own understanding. It's tempting to try and assume every little thing as to why this is happening and why God allowed this and why this and why that and why this, but just breathe and take a chill pill. But trust that God is in control. He knew this was gonna happen and he knew that you were gonna be able to pull through. Third, it is really important at this time that you remind yourself that you are loved by God and you are not alone. Satan is gonna to try to convince you that you're unlovable, alone, and unworthy of anybody's affection. But that is not true. A relationship is nice to have, but it is not the only place or even the purest place that you'll find love. In Isaiah 41 10 it says, Fear not, for I am with you. And if you have trouble believing him, just keep repeating it to yourself over and over and over again until your heart begins to warm up and realize that you are truly loved by God and that you're not alone and that he will send you someone when it is the perfect timing. The fourth thing that I want to encourage is finding comfort in your friendships. Don't avoid your friends because you're dealing with a broken heart. Matter of fact, spend more time with your friends because you're dealing with a broken heart. Ask them to pray for you as well. The Bible encourages us to bear one another's burdens, and the only way that we're gonna be able to bear each other's burdens is if we're sharing them with one another. And also, I wanna encourage you to get busy. Go out and do fun things. Don't just sit at home and just cry about the fact that life just stinks right now. No, go out and do something fun with your friends. If you start getting back into your hobbies, getting back into your job, getting back into your schoolwork, you'll start to feel better. And last, I wanna encourage you to recite and memorize verses from the Bible. Truth brings hope. Hope. And when you're dealing with a broken heart, Satan loves to make you believe that your situation is hopeless. So combat those lies by already having the truth in your mind. So that way if any of those negative thoughts get into your head that are completely not true, you already have all your verses memorized to be able to say, nope, the Bible tells me not to be afraid for God is with me. So I don't need to feel hopeless. It's okay to feel sad, but it's not okay if it starts to get you depressed. I hope these tips will help you heal from your broken heart. Remember, the Lord is near to the broken hearted and he saves those who have a crushed spirit. You have no clue what you're going to be doing now after college, but let me give you some